Right. Well, yeah. next next talk is uh, with um, Freddy Alfredos. So that's for the Satnog State of the Union. So we're going to have an update on Satnog. Uh, that's uh, that's 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 you. Uh, uh, so uh, Freddy, you're are you here? Are you here? Freddy is an LSF core contributor. Can you hear me? Yeah, he's a Satnox developer and open source enthusiast. And I remember, I think in 2019, he started his presentation as I am Satnox. So <laughs> <laughs> it's going to stay. <laughs> it's going to stay. So uh, we have to switch to the right one. So, yeah, right. Yeah. That's, that's your presentation, Freddy? Yes, yes. Great. So let me put you presenter. Got it. Right. Cool. All right. So, uh, I'm uh, Alfredo Stoncalis or Freddy. Uh, I'm going to give you the latest updates uh, on the Sadnox project. For those who don't know, Sadnox project is uh, a global network of uh, ground stations focused on automating uh, several ground segment operations. So it uh, performs a uh, reception of telemetry. It has uh, uh, telecommand control capabilities in different uh, uh, frequencies. Also um, uh, visualize the telemetry and data from satellites. Uh, it has a collection of uh, uh, data and other observation artifacts where artifacts are the results of observations with uh, uh, with metadata. Uh, we also do orbit determination and TLE generation and uh, satellite identification, and we also record the frequency violations. So all these are done with an open source stack with several software and hardware projects, services, and uh, data. Uh, all, all of them developed, uh, supported, and uh, used from several contributors from big universities and organizations to uh, individuals. And uh, let's split the, uh, the projects to three, uh, three parts. Uh, the ground station part, the web and other services part, and operations one. So let's start with the ground station part and uh, the Sadnox client, which is the software that runs in uh, uh, ground stations. It, uh, it is re responsible to communicate with network and get uh, the scheduled observations and perform them. So in the client last year, we have some refactoring in the code base, bug fixes and maintenance. Uh, we have also improving the artifact supports. We have the new waterfall data artifact, waterfall artifact, which is in beta phase. Uh, we'll talk about it a little later. And uh, we have also configuration for uploading artifacts. So if a uh, station has a limited uh, bandwidth, it can choose which artifacts it's going to upload. So in the future, we are going to continue refactoring and improve the artifacts uh, support. Also support uh, streaming for data artifacts, so we can have the data uh, in almost real time. And also we are going to support uh, transmission with under the Sadnox Homes project. Uh, next on the ground station is the GR Sadnox and Flowgraphs projects. Uh, GR Sadnox is the uh, it's <clears throat> it is the uh, out of tree GNU radio module that uh, process, uh, demodulates, or decoding uh, the received si signals. And uh, flow graphs are the uh, GNU radio flow graphs uh, that are responsible for processing uh, different satellite transmissions. So, on these, uh, these is are the supported uh, uh, flow graphs right now for all these modulations. And uh, this, the last year, we have uh, do some uh, improvements in performance and some uh, maintenance work. Uh, we have added some new decoders and encoders. Uh, we started using SIGMF for metadata generation in order to, uh, to use them in machine learning and other applications. And we also added uh, UDP IQ Sync 
that uh, exports uh, data for analysis and demodulation with third-party tools. Uh, in the future, we are going to uh, improve and add more flow graphs, uh, uh, do a process uh, an on-the-fly flow graph generation. Uh, we are uh, aiming to uh, port GS Adnox to GNU Radio 3.10 and flow graphs, and uh, also improve artifacts support and uh, support transmission. Uh, the next is the uh, hardware uh, components of a ground station, rotator antennas and other uh, hardware like electronics. Uh, last year there weren't any significant updates on Sandnox rotator and an antenna designs. However, uh, there were many uh, Sandnox, uh, uh, many contributors in uh, Sandnox project and in Sandnox community that have uh, developed, documented, and tested. Um, RF components like filters, amplifiers, duplexers, etc., uh, rotators and antennas. In the future, we we experiment with uh, new concepts uh, for ground station setups, like uh, the Sadnox Tiny. There will be a lightning talk. Uh, I don't know today, maybe tomorrow. And uh, we also uh, continue development, document, and uh, testing our ground station components. Let's go now to the uh, web services, web and the other services. Uh, first, uh, we start with the Sadnox network. You can see here the uh, stations with the green one is the online one and the orange are the testing ones. Uh, in, uh, the network is uh, responsible for uh, station management, scheduling of satellite observations and storing, displaying, and uh, rating of artifacts. Uh, the last year, we have uh, also here performance improvements and uh, bug fixings and maintenance. We had some also UI improvements. Uh, we had changes for supporting artifacts. We also starting support S3 storage for the uh, data and the artifacts. And uh, also we perform almost uh, 2 million observations. Uh, in the future, we plan to improve uh, the API and the API client, uh, complete the artifact support, uh, improve scheduling automation, and uh, improve the artifact and observation rating system, and also support transmission here too. Uh, some statistics. Uh, we have uh, 255 online stations. 123 testing stations. Uh, we perform uh, 5,200 observations per day, and uh, we have uh, almost 28,000 uh, demodulated frames per day. Next is the SadnoxDB, a crowdsourced uh, database uh, for satellites and satellite emissions. Uh, and also, it's the repository for artifacts. Uh, the last year, we had also here some maintenance, performance improvements, and bug fixes. We have added the uh, satellite identifier, which allow us to solve issues we had with uh, NORAD ID. Uh, we have improvements of uh, artifact support, and also we have continued the integration of Metasat schema by using JSONLD format. In the future, we are going to complete the artifact support, improve the API and the API client, uh, improve uh, station and data statistics, and uh, standardize and improve DB service in coordination uh, with other projects that uh, use uh, Sadmox DB. Next, ah, some stats about uh, yes, the DB. Uh, we have uh, uh, almost 800 satellites with uh, uh, 1,200 uh, uh, transmitters, and we have more than 125 million frames from uh, 1,790 uh, stations uh, that uh, are coming from Sadnox network, or uh, they use uh, third-party software for sending their data in DB. Uh, we have also the Sadnox decoders, a service that allows to uh, decode uh, the received uh, frames using uh, scripts generated by Kaitai 
.io structures. Uh, we had the last year new decoders, also satellites, uh, new uh, people from satellite teams uh, involved uh, in the uh, design of their decoders. And also we have decoded the 66% of DB frames. In the future, we are planning to create more decoders, continue involve people and also improve the process uh, of uh, decoding. Uh, here are the uh, supported decoders. With blue are the, the new ones. Uh, so the next is the Sadnox dashboards, uh, a web service that allow us to visualize uh, telemetry and other data from uh, satellite transmissions. Uh, we had several uh, satellite teams uh, creating their uh, dashboards uh, the last year and also use them for daily uh, mission analysis. And in the future, we also plan to create more dashboards and uh, continue to involve more people and satellite teams. And also experiment with uh, some Grafana features with uh, an alerting system when something goes wrong. Uh, on uh, the operations uh, uh, side, uh, we have the observation scheduling, which uh, uh, the last year we have improved uh, the auto scheduler, a third party software for scheduling uh, observation in Sadnox network. And also uh, on scheduling, we had uh, scheduled several ARIS contact and SSTV events, observations for, for these events. And uh, we have observed also more than 15 satellite deployments. And also we have satisfied some public requests from uh, satellite teams. Uh, to observe their satellite uh, when there was a special event or a special transmission. Uh, we, we are going to continue to automate uh, the scheduling and make it uh, smarter. Also, we are uh, discussing about adding auto scheduling in uh, Sadnox network. And uh, also, to, we are going to continue to support events and scheduling requests. On the satellites identifications, uh, we continue using SDRF tools and ethnos for uh, identifying satellites. Uh, we have already identified more than 150 satellites until today. And we are building, we are building uh, tools that uh, we are going to use the new waterfall artifact, the new waterfall data artifact, uh, for analyzing it and uh, help us to identify satellites. We have also the orbit determination and TLE generation in operations. Uh, also using STRF tools, we have uh, last year generated more than 140 TLE sets. Uh, we usually generate them in the start of a mission when the satellites are deployed or at the very end, uh, some hours before the re-entry when we don't have or have uh, uh, few updates of the TLE sets. And uh, also we are building tools uh, for the waterfall data artifact to help us in the orbit uh, determination and TLE set generation. Uh, I'm on the last slides, yes. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, some highlights and contribution. Uh, it's the feedback and support through the issues and community forum and chat. Uh, several contributors also help us to update our Sadnox wiki, uh, schedule and rate observations, and of course, being amazing station owners. Uh, for all of these, I want to say a big thank you to the Sadnox community and all the contributors, and uh, invite you to join us uh, by following these links or contact me in person. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you, Freddie. I'm like uploading for just 70 people. <laughs> uh, Freddie, you, the, the pipe of activities seems huge. Uh, there's a question from Mario. Um, wh which would be the Satnox features you will dream uh, to implement? But it's not possible at the moment because of whatever reason, budget or not enough resources of some kind. Maybe this person has a magic wand and he wants to help you. Yeah, uh, I think that uh, 
Yeah, we have many ideas. I mean, what we need currently, it will be very helpful to have more contributors on uh, uh, on development and also on the operations, helping us to to create all these new features and ideas we have. For example, the uh, the ideas for automating the the, the main the main uh, uh, task is to automate all these tasks that uh, I have already mentioned, which some of them are still in the uh, semi-automatic, semi-manual uh, <laughs> semi Freddy. semi Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, gotcha. Yeah, okay. It's interesting. Uh, anyone, do not hesitate to turn on your microphone and, uh, and speak up your question. There's another one from Dimitri. Uh, not clear. You're welcome. Dimitri is saying, are we going to be able to have uh, statistics on types of data processed per ground station? So, like ground station X yes. has processed. Yes, yes. And... That, that's, that's uh, something we want to do for many years now, to have more detailed statistics about the stations and the satellites and the data itself. This is this is uh, a plan, but as I said, if we have more people helping us, we can move forward uh, faster. Very cool, very cool. I have one question for you. Um... Uh, Freddie, so we have seen like the the big bump of uh, number of uh, missions, like from uh, 400 to 700, something like this. Uh, how can I add a satellite mission in Satnox? Imagine somebody here has a satellite mission and they want to add the satellite mission in Satnox to get supported by Satnox. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the current status is to open an issue to the operations uh, uh, repository uh, in the. You can see the link now in the presentation. And uh, you can also, we we have it in semi-beta testing uh, to uh, suggest your satellite uh, directly in in, uh, in SatnoxDB. So you can add all the details there and just uh, waiting for a review uh, of the of your suggestion. You mean on database.satnox.org? db.satnox.org, db. yes. Nice, nice. Anyone has another question? I have one, but you first. I'll be available <laughs> in the breakout <laughs> rooms. Because uh, if, if you're a non-developer, uh, how can you contribute? Yeah, if, if uh, the, the non-developers can contribute with many uh, ways, like helping us to uh, add satellites in database, find information about them, uh, do scheduling or rating the observations. We have uh, create dashboards, for example. Uh, we have many uh, ways for someone who want to contribute. Uh, Very, nice. To contribute. <laughs> Very nice. Thanks a lot, Freddy. Anyone, Thank you. if you have a chance for a question, else uh, we'll thank Freddy and uh, I move on to the next one.